This woman was brutally murdered by her husband all because he was jealous of her. She was beaten, strangled and killed by a man who was supposed to love and protect her. A man who had an inferiority complex all because his wife was the breadwinner of the family. Mrs. Taiwo Awoyeye Abodunde was a Nigerian nurse who lived and worked in the UK. She was also a mother of three boys, whom she had with her 47-year-old husband, Abodunde David Olobumi. Taiwo was said to have moved to the UK in 2022, and after she settled, she made arrangements for her husband and three sons to join her in 2023. While she was in Nigeria, she worked as a nurse. It is not clear what her husband David did for a living, but even back in Nigeria, she was still earning more than him, enough to take herself abroad and enough to bring her husband and children to join her there. While a lot of men would be happy to have a woman like Taiwo by their side, David had an hidden resentment for his wife. Although their marriage seemed perfect after being blessed with three children, but behind closed doors, it wasn't all beds and roses. Back when she was still in Nigeria living with her husband and children, it was said that David was still fond of physically abusing her. For no specific reason, David was said to be in the habit of beating his wife. It's not so clear how Taiwo handled it while they were in Nigeria. However, when they moved to the UK, I guess it was a lot easier to fight back. There is no specific reason as to why David was so physically aggressive towards his wife, but a lot of users on the internet has concluded that Taiwo's intelligence and success was a threat and it might have made her husband David feel so inferior. And one of the easiest ways for David to feel leveled or feel equal to his wife was to constantly remind her that he was the man and if he couldn't do that by providing for the family as much as she did he did it by trying to take control from her like controlling their resources her salary how she spends it i mean she was young beautiful and very successful it is also possible that he felt threatened that other men could still be looking at her that is just a speculation. While they moved to the UK in 2023, the physical abuse continued. David really wanted control over her and everything that she did. One time while they were in the UK, it was said his children had to be the one to call the police after he had physically assaulted their mother in their presence. On the 27th of November 2023, a day before Taiwo would be found dead, she had been physically assaulted by her husband and so she proceeded to call the police, where she informed the police that her husband had physically abused her in August and also the day before, 27th of November. David was arrested that morning on the 27th of November after Taiwo had made the reports, but he was released later in the evening and was told not to contact the family. It's not clear what this meant by the police telling David not to contact the family. It might have meant that they told him not to go home or go anywhere near his wife per se. At the same time, releasing David meant David had to go somewhere. And it's not clear who or where David know other than the home he shared with his wife in the UK. It honestly would have been best if the police had kept him in the prison cell or in their custody because releasing him and telling him not to contact the family did not really make so much sense to me. It's almost as if the police knew what they were doing or something because why would they want to release this man back to his wife after the wife had clearly complained that he had physically abused her to the point that she could not take it anymore. Well, after David was released, he went home to his family. He went home to his wife because I can imagine that that is the only place he knew or that is the only place he had that he could sleep at. Where else could he sleep? And I would guess Ty would let him in. And obviously, that would be the biggest mistake that she would have ever made. Because the next morning on the 28th of November 2023, around 9.55 a.m., it was said the police came to her house to check up on her and also get more evidence for the accusation she had laid on her husband the previous day. Maybe that was why they released David back to her because she did not have sufficient physical evidence to hold him in jail for a long time and so the next morning the police came for more evidence and lo and behold they got the biggest evidence they would ever need the lifeless body of Taiwo Owoye Abodunde she was laying on the ground unresponsive lifeless immediately the police called for the paramedics but before they could do anything she was already dead dead on the scene the only person in the house at the time her body was found was her husband, David. It was said the children had gone to school and it was believed that Taiwo was strangled to death. 
David was instantly arrested as he was believed to be the number one prime suspect. Ayo's body was taken for autopsy and given that they had no relatives in the UK, her three boys were taken by the UK social services. David was charged to court and while in court, it was said he did not take any plea. And as at the time of making this video, he is to remain in custody for further investigation and for further hearing of the case. It's such an unfortunate situation that this incident had to happen to this woman. It's still unclear what the motive was, but a lot of people believe that David was intimidated by his wife's success and her ability to hold down the house. He most likely felt less of a man every time that she took up the bills. However though, it is being said that one thing that may have triggered him to the point of killing his wife could be that he discovered, allegedly, that Taiwo was getting ready to divorce him and take custody, full custody of their children. Some sources also claim that he had learned that if Taiwo had divorced him and had taken full custody of their children, it would mean that he would have to be deported back to Nigeria. It's not clear how David may have heard this, it's not clear how David may have found this out. But many people believe that it was when he discovered this that he decided to end her life. Because obviously he was going to lose everything. He would lose her, lose the children and most definitely lose the privilege of living in the UK. 